back to the Fan Golf Show on Sports Radio 93.7, The Fan. Well, welcome back to the Golf Show here on 93.7, The Fan. I'm Mike DeDorich. I'm your host every Saturday morning from 7 to 8 a.m. Um, I was just thinking the other day when I um, was uh, looking up some information on, on my next guest, uh, if I couldn't play the game and my buddies who I play with will tell you that on some days I can't play the game, but even at the level that I play, if I couldn't do that and if I had any more talent than being able to draw stick men, then I think what I'd like to be is a golf artist. Just think about the places where golf is played, Uh, some of the scenic uh, landscapes and picturesque uh, views that, that, you know, Pebble Beach comes to mind right away. Uh, But Augusta National and even Oakmont, um, there are are just great things – to be drawn, shot, whatever, and and um, my my guest now is is one of those people um, who does that for a living. Uh, Lee Wabransky is a native of of Philadelphia, but he lives in Arizona now, and and he's uh, joining me uh, this morning. Good morning, Lee. How are you? I'm very well. Good morning, Mike. How are you? Well, we're doing fine. A little little rainy here. You probably don't know much about that in Arizona, but uh, it's. Pouring down rain, actually. But anyway, um, you are, are for the ninth year in a row have done the uh, official U.S. Open poster. Uh, I've seen it; it is really cool, and I think people are going to like it. And it's kind of neat that uh, this is the ninth year you've done this, and this is the ninth year, ninth time that uh, Oakmont is going to host the Open. Uh, tell us a little bit about the poster. Sure, sure. Um, well. As you said, it's my ninth in a row, which is uh, pretty special. It's an interesting synergy that Oakmont is celebrating the same anniversary, but there's obviously, I think, it's spread out over 100 years or so. Um, the poster features uh, a view from the third fairway across the Church Pews bunker, uh, across the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and then uh, up, uh, up the landscape uh, on the other side uh, to the finishing uh, holes and the clubhouse in the distance. So uh, it's, a, it's a neat view that probably was not available before a lot of the trees uh, were removed. Uh, you know, trees have a tendency to sort of cover up the landscape, and now that a lot of those trees are, are gone, you can really see uh, what a great piece of property Oakmont sits on, and, uh, and I think the design of the golf course really comes to the forefront. Well, you were absolutely right. You would not have been able to see the clubhouse from uh, number three fairway. Not, not a chance. Until they move those trees, and um, you know, believe it or not, that's this this tree removal has been going on for hmm, fifteen years, maybe, and it's still a hot topic in some circles. <laughs> but hey, everybody has their opinion. I think it's a terrific look, and uh, you have captured that in the poster. Um, how did you get involved in in doing these posters? Uh, I had been. Uh... Uh, I've been an artist working in golf for, for about 10 years before my first chance to create the poster for the U.S. Open. I've been working with the USGA as a designer for about four or five years, uh, designing the logos for the U.S. Open championships, starting with uh, Shinnecock in 2004. And uh, each of those years, I had sort of been lobbying for the opportunity to do the poster um, because I just felt like, uh, well, it's it. I'd already done a few posters for the Senior Open, the Senior PGA, uh, the Walker Cup. Um, and uh, I think it was actually the – I did the poster for the first uh, AT&T Nationals, you know, back when uh, Tiger just started that event. And it was a nifty poster that didn't really even have a golf scene in it. And I think that kind of uh, triggered some people's uh, imaginations at the USGA that I could do something special for the U.S. Open that they hadn't done before. In 2008, they gave me a shot. And uh, – we had kind of a runaway success uh, at 2008 at Torrey Pines. Right. And, of course, you had, um, and this didn't play into the poster, obviously, but 2008 was, you know, one of the most exciting, um, mm-hmm. you know, playoff and sudden death. And uh, it was great stuff. And, and um, it's it's just been an uphill uh, kind of deal for you since then, right? 
Uh, more or less. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm very happy to say that the you know the the job security has mainly been provided by uh by the poster sales. People have really liked them, and uh, they've been good sellers year after year. And uh, the USGA is uh, fortunately uh, keep uh, bringing me back. So uh, it's been uh, it's been a great run, and uh, I'm hoping uh, that it doesn't end anytime soon. As you mentioned in your little intro, uh, you know, getting to go uh, to some of the most famous and beautiful uh, courses in the country and, and spend a few days tramping around the property with a with a camera and a sketchbook is a, is a real treat. I, I certainly do enjoy uh, the benefits of the job, and I uh, hope it continues that far into the future. Well, sure. Um, and you know, I, I got to tell the folks, I, I, there was a, I read a press release about it, and, and it said you kind of did, it the, did things the way the players do. The players come in at mm-hmm. various times before the Open, get in a, a couple rounds just to kind of get the feel of the place because, like this year, very few of the f- players in the field will have played here before. So mm. they're, they're they're scoping it out, and you did the same thing. You came in last fall and, and uh, uh, did a little work and walked around a little bit with your camera, like you said. Um, it's it's all part of the job, huh? Yeah, yeah. And really, that's a that's a pretty special part of the job. You know, like, like a lot of people, it sounds like yourself included, uh, I don't just like to play the game, but you really get into the history of the game, and you know maybe you get into the the history of golf course design in America. And uh, the U.S. Open typically goes to courses that are very uh, prominent in those areas. And Oakmont is probably at the top of the mountain when it comes to you know the combination of hosting the national championship and and the history and, and the unique design features. So it's kind of like uh, I don't know, like being in the Smithsonian after hours or something. You know when you, you <laughs> yeah. get to really go to every nook and cranny of the golf course uh, when you're, you know, it's not like the course was closed on there. In fact, I think it was one day. I, I typically, if the weather permits, I try and go on a Monday to most of these courses because uh, private clubs are typically closed on Monday. So, yeah. and it's just me and the grounds crew out there. And uh, I do always try and uh, chat with the grounds crew guys because they really tend to know the courses uh, better than anybody. And uh, John Zimmer and his staff were really uh, helpful when I was yeah. out there doing the field work at Oakmont last fall. Well, Lee, that segment went way too quick. We'll have to do this again. We've run out of time, but uh, I'll tell the folks that uh, the poster is going to be on sale to Merchandise Tents at Oakmont for $32 unframed. And also you can get it on the websites at the USGA and at LeeWybranski.com. And the, the poster will be available unframed, framed, and autographed, right? That's all correct. Yes, all right. sir. Well, thanks, Lee. I appreciate you getting up early and coming on with me. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Mike. I hope to see you in a few weeks out there at the club. I'll be there. I'll look for you. All right. All right. Have so a great day. Thanks, Thank you, you too. Have a great day.